Hello YouTube, Minecraft Festus here, and today I am back with yet another video. Yep, um, so yesterday I recorded a video showcasing my revised combination lock, which was on a, um, which was a revision of a combination lock I did a few months ago, uh, back in May, May 2017, I believe. I left a link in the video description, or, I mean, I'll leave a link in the video description to the video I posted yesterday. Well, um... I've sort of revised it. This video isn't about my revision, though. Stay until the end to see the revision that I've made. But I am going to show you how it all works. It 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 isn't that complicated. It really isn't. There's a bit you need to understand, and there's a bit of a math lesson in it. But let's get right into this. So this is the combination lock I showcased in the other video. I had these really. I, I, I basically showcased how to build them. They work sort of like this. Uh, um, they, they work sort of like this. So I have to enter the correct lever combination right here to turn that light on. If I get anything wrong, it turns off. If I get any, yeah, if I get any of the levers off, it turns off. And that's, well, what a combination lock is. But I was highlighting on the fact that it is, like, seriously, like, Easily one of the most simple things I've showcased on my channel, uh, except for in my one minute contraption series, um, where I did the uh, two by two piston door. That's that might be a bit simpler, but basically, it this this is like ridiculously easy. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna showcase how this works. So for this combination lock right here, the correct combination is this. And basically, the way it works back here is hold on, I'll just reset it. Um, the way it works back here is, for every, um, redstone torch, your lever corresponding is supposed to be on. So, this, um, means that for this, this lever is supposed to be on. It, um, now for a repeater, it means it's supposed to be off. This repeat, so since there's a repeater here, this lever's supposed to be off. Since there's a redstone torch here, this lever is supposed to be on, and, uh, repeater, off. Basically, it's it's very simple to make, but it's a bit weirder to try and explain how the whole thing works. And it looks like it would be easy to explain. There's a bit of a math lesson involved. So, in case any of you don't know what exponential math is, basically, well, this is how many possible combinations there are here. So, I'm just going to give you out the number here. 16 possible combinations here, also 16 possible combinations here. 32,768 possible combinations there, and 16 possible combinations there. Um, it depends on the amount of levers. Basically, the way it works is, um, some of you, um, younger viewers might not be familiar with the exponential sy system, which is basically, like, saying, like, um, th there's a way of saying, like, something to the power of something. It's basically, like, a big number with a little number, sort of, in the top right-hand corner. Um, of, of the big number. Basically, what it will confirm here is how many possible combinations there are. So, the way that you would find the amount of possible combinations is you would multiply 2 by itself for the amount of levers. So, there's 4 levers. So, this would be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That would be 16. There's 16 possible combinations. Um, Right here, there's uh, also 16 possible combinations because there's four levers. Right here, though, in this very long combination lock I showcased in the last video, um, there are um, 2 times 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 2 possible combinations. Grows pretty quickly. 32,768 possible combinations. That's more than enough. Um... And basically, but the crazy thing about the system is that, um, so since it's 2 times 2 times 2, and uh, it's just 2 is being multiplied, every time you have one more lever, it multiplies by 2. So there were 16, now there's 32. We add another, now there's 64, 128, 256. It grows like crazy. The amount of levers, if you actually multiply the amount of levers by 2, the number will be squared or multiplied by itself. For example, 4 squared is 16, 6 squared is 36, 8 squared is 64, 10 squared is 100. Yep. <sighs> that was all the math out. 
Okay, now that we're done the math lesson on how many possible combinations there are for these, um, it, and you sort of, well, you might not understand it. Now let's get to sort of how the circuitry works. So yeah, now that I got that out, whew, okay, I don't know if you get that. One last thing to mention, I don't know if you know the phrase exponential. It means growing rapidly. Like, um, like for example, the amount of hurricanes per year is growing exponentially or something. I don't know, that was a weird example. But like, the word exponentially means growing rapidly. And that's exactly what is happening here. Every time you add a um, lever, it grows rapidly. Also, the number of possible combinations will grow if there were like three settings on the lever, if there was like a mid setting. The way to calculate um, if, if there were like mid settings is the amount of possible, um, it's the amount of possible ways a lever could be put to the power of the amount of levers. All right, now the math is actually done. Okay, but you could just do two times two uh, as many times as you want for the amount of levers. I mean, uh, as many times as the levers, so two times two times two times two, etc. Yeah. Okay, math lesson out of the way. Now here's sort of how the circuitry works. So basically, um, f um, like I explained earlier, for every lever that needs to be on, we put a redstone torch in the back. For every lever that needs to be off, we put a repeater in the back. Now basically, what we do um, here is our goal is to turn all of these off. We want this to not be on be because we don't want this. We don't want the repeater to be our. We basically we don't want any of this line to be on. We want it all to be off. And the way we would do that is see if we turn on a lever with a torch in the back, we would turn that off. And now if we could do that for every single lever, um, um, so. Uh, for every single lever with a torch, we we want to turn all the torches off, and we do that. Then, as you can see, this line will be turned off. That also sort of is kind of weird to explain. Basically, we don't want any of these to be turned on, meaning um, for every repeater we want it to be off, and every torch we want it to be on. So basically, we want this whole line to be off. That way. We could run it through a NOT gate, right here, uh, with just a torch on the side, and then run that into whatever we want. So I'm sort of going to recap on all of that. Basically, we want every we want this line right here to be off in order for the combination to be correct. We want nothing to be on, and the way we do that is we make all of these unpowered. We make all of the repeaters and all the torches unpowered. The only way to make a repeater unpowered is to well have the corresponding lever to be off. And the only way to make a torch unpowered is to have the corresponding lever to be on. That's the logic I go by in this um, uh, combination look. Then, so yeah, then we run this into whatever we want. I hope you got that. Um, now, you may be wondering, why would I use a knock gate? Why don't I just continue the signal? Like, um, why don't I just continue the signal a bit like this? Well, because there are well, because every way that is not correct will turn that on then. And then we um and then if we got it correct, that would turn off. So we would want to invert that with a knock gate right there. Basically. So um yeah, that's sort of the way it works. Now I'm gonna explain another thing. Why um I'm gonna explain why it stops working at fifteen blocks. Well, um, if you if you've done a bit of redstone, you probably know that there's uh that that there's a 15 block redstone signal limit. As you can see, if we were to stretch out the signal for long enough, um, the signal will start to have no effect. And if we were to power something like right here, it won't power on. Um, this is for you people who are not familiar with this. Basically, um, the the same thing goes for here. So if everything um was what was correct all over here. Um, but this was incorrect. It would still say that this is correct. And we don't want that to happen, basically. Um, the signal wouldn't reach. Uh, the, the signal that it's incorrect wouldn't reach, and it would just think it's correct. And, oh my god, I just almost fell into the void. Um, basically, jeez, this is dangerous. We, um, we, we can only have it end at 15 blocks. Alright, that's basically how it works. 
But there's one last thing I need to say. Um, at the beginning, I said I had recently found a way on how um, I could make this thing sort of, uh, on how I could sort of revise this thing. Well, if you haven't noticed, there's something sort of weird about this one right here. Um, instead of it, um, instead of it just being like this, and imagine all of that is invisible. Instead of it just being like that, what we have is we could actually extend the length to 29 blocks. Um, another unnecessarily long amount, because that is 500, about 500 million possible combinations. We can extend it to 29 blocks. And here's how. If we put the redstone torch in the middle, it, it can reach everything um, within a 15 block radius. It could reach 15 blocks this way, and it could reach 15 blocks this way. Instead of having it just at one end, we could have it in the middle to sort of equalize everything, and therefore practically double the length that the signal could reach for this thing. We could upgrade from about 30,000 possible combinations to about 500 million possible combinations, which is a lot. Um, um, we are actually um, we are squaring the number, literally. We are going from two to the power of um, we're going from two to the power of 15 to two to the power of 29. We're almost squaring the number. We're squaring it and then halving it. There we go. This was a very very mathematical video on my channel. But basically, this is how you, um, this is how the whole system works, and at the end, this is how you, um, and, th and this is how you can make a ridiculously powerful combination lock that would be 29 blocks long. Uh, sort of both a revision and sort of a how this works, um, video, uh, for the, for the one I recorded yesterday. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, please be sure to leave a like comment. This was a bit weird. I, I don't really do sequel videos usually to my contraption, so I guess yesterday's video was, was sort of a secret video, se sequel video. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. I hope that you guys implement this into your world, and I hope that you guys learned a bit of math from that, and that it wasn't all too confusing, because I am genuinely worried, seriously. Um, I'm genuinely worried it's probably going to be very, very confusing. Um, I hope that you guys have, yeah, as I said, I hope that you guys have enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, love it, subscribe. Um, don't like it, well, if you really, really hate it, then I guess dislike, but try not to dislike, please. Um, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video, um, and Minecraft Office is out. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.